In this video, I want to give you just a top line overview of a RIP software program called Fiery XF and a printer known as the Canon IPF series printers. I've been testing software printers and I've been involved in color management for close to 20 years. For the last 15 years, I've solely been a color management consultant, installing, recommending, and implementing color management solutions across Canada. So I've been into art galleries, pre-press shops, photographers, printers, you name it, I have been in there three or four different customers per week for 15 years. So you do the math. I have seen and implemented just about every solution. Epson's, Canon's, HP's, you know, just about everything that's out there. I've had my hands on it and had an opportunity to test it. This combination of RIP software and printer, to me, is hands down the easiest, best solution for looking after all of your printing needs. You can do RGB printing, direct RGB printing through an RGB driver. It's, it uses the direct RGB color space when printing to it versus when it prints via a proofing solution. It's using a CMYK, a true Adobe Postscript RIP. Full color management is built in. You have the ability to do full gamut RGB output you have the ability to do what i call dumbed down restricted cmyk proofing this is without a doubt easily the best solution so let me give you a bit of an overview i could spend a lot of time getting into it but i just want to show you the basics so in this situation this is your main client this client allows you to bring jobs in that's just a right click on there and i can bring in an rgb test image to take a look at it's going to ask me where do I want to bring this into because it has to know. And I'm going to bring it into the Hannah Mule Metallic Canvas workflow. Very quickly, the job is spooled and is brought in and has been, and I see a preview. I have the ability to zoom in by a keyboard command. I can zoom out. I can increase my thumbnail size to take a look at this image better or smaller. All right, so very easy. Lots of configuration that I can show in my list here. Um, this is my job list on the right side, sorry, my job editing characteristics. So I can go in and drill down a little bit further. If I want to do a color adjustment on this job, I could. With the profiles that I'm getting off this, I don't have to. Um, there are no spot colors. I can establish my color management uh, parameters if I want to change them. If I want to change from a perceptual to a relative color metric, for example, um, I can make a change on a job by job basis. All of my options, for making edits on this job are on this right side. Most of them are gonna be in the layout size side of things. Um, you may do a nesting, step and repeat, or put a job ticket on it. The finishing is great. We have the ability to put crop marks on a job. Very, very quickly, we can add all sorts of different crop marks to it. Um, we have what's called the corner marks. We have frames. We can do the tombow marks editing adjustments of all that type of thing. So crop marks are really, really easy. If you have the need for grommet marks, um, what you do with the grommet marks is very easy as well. Tons and tons of opportunity for grommet marks that you can do. I've got four across the top, more across the bottom. Whatever you need, you can do a grommet mark at setup, okay? The cutting options are again, very endless. If you have a cutter that you need to work with, I haven't seen a cutter list this long before in any other system. So if you've got a, say a Zun printer cutter, I mean, these are all the Zuns that are available and you want to set up cut marks on that, it can be done, right? So that's easy to do as well. Um, lots and lots, there's so much to show you on this. Um, again, the color, in the output section, I can choose how many copies, what's the size of my role. This is all pre-configured in the system manager prior. 
okay so this is something that you normally wouldn't have to change all of these settings are pre-configured right now i'm in the job explorer but i can go into the system manager it's asking me if i want to change there's no need to because it's messing around all of those settings that you wanted to make for that particular workflow are pre-configured here so you want to pre-configure all your workflows to handle files so if you want them to be centered as that one is if you want to include nesting if you want to have job tickets put on if you want it to be rotated every job that comes into this will take on those characteristics or you can go back into the job manager and say you know what no i don't want this to be centered i want it to be left justified um, let's bring in another job i'm going to save that let's bring in another job we'll bring in the same one again bring it into that workflow and i'll show you real how easily and how quickly nesting works two jobs we want to gang them up to save we just do a right click on those two bang we got a new nesting okay now if i don't like the way that is i can take that i could rotate it i can scale it i can say you know what let's rotate that no you know what i'm going to bring that back to where it was put it over there it snaps to the guide you can put crop marks on the whole thing it's so great there's so many things that you can do with this rip again it's super easy so that's the what I call photo G clay output. Um, I've done canvases, metallics, Hannah Mule, Carson's. I have not seen the blacks as rich and the neutrality as simple and as quickly as I've seen with this rip. It's been really, really easy. Now, it depends on your situation. You can purchase this rip with the color tools as an add-on. If you're going to be building profiles, I would highly recommend it. It's going to save you so much time and effort because all the profiling is done within it. It's a wizard based um, situation in terms of how it does it. The process is really simple. If you can click next, you can build the base linearization and a media profile. So the start, if you were to create a new media, you would need a measurement device or a device uh, printer that has an onboard spectral. Um, Epson has the onboard spectro and the Canon has it on the 24 inch on their device on the IPF 6450. So you could build a base linearization. You select your measurement device that you're going to use. Um, let's say you've got an ISIS. Um, you can determine uh, things like what's the ink, what's the media that you're going to base this on. Is there going to be a starting point for it? Uh, depending upon if this is an RGB workflow, then it likes to know the ink limits as the starting point. Um, the specials, I could get into those, they're very useful. Or you find a paper that is very similar to what you're doing. Let's say it's an artistic canvas. You choose your resolution, you choose your quality, you click next, got to give it a name. And that starts the process. We then start print and measure quality control you're done the base linearization then you go in to create a media profile print that you're done if you want to improve it further it has the ability to optimize that profile i generally use that in a proofing environment where i'm building a proofing matching to a specific environment and it brings it down into a delta e of a maximum usually of about 1.8 that's phenomenal if you want to do any corrections, you have full editing to be able to make corrections. You can edit the profiles, but honestly, I have never had to edit a profile anymore. Maybe the white point, but it's very rare that we edit the profiles. It's They're so, so good. And the linearity of the cannons out of the box is the best I have seen. The amount of work that the profile has to do is so minimal. So that's the photo printing world. Proofing similar situation we can import a job um, let's do a pdf and let's bring that into a swap environment so i've pre-configured these workflows but if you want to build a workflow you could say new workflow and it's going to say hey what do you want to do do you want to do proofing here's a bunch of presets that are available to you that are already set up so you want to do a swap three with a verify no problem done you want that to go to your swap uh, workflow no problem we'll connect that to all users we could also set up a guest account and those guests um, could have a limited what they can do maybe they're only allow, allowed to see certain things so you can limit a guest login and again the way that this software works is there's a server that runs on a mac or a pc and you have clients unlimited number of clients this is actually a client and i have a server running on a windows machine 
um, somewhere else. So I've just connected to this when I log in. Um, I just connect to that server and you can have unlimited clients. So you can move these around if you want to make them a little bit more straightforward. So again, that's so easy to build a workflow. It's already been configured for swap. All you have to do is connect it to an output profile on your device. Now I have what are considered looks like three output devices. It's really one output device with three different medias. That way I don't have to change the media. I just basically point it to and change the media on the machine. They're all the same IP address, same device. So now we have a new one. So in terms of proofing, very simple again, very similar to what happens in the um, photo world. Um, but here maybe we have uh, the ability to deal with spot colors. This is another area where this high gamut printer excels. You can match within two Delta E. You want to challenge me on that? Feel free to. I will document it and show you how closely I can match the entire Pantone coded library. All of them with the worst Pantone is the is two Delta E. Most of them are under one. That's pretty phenomenal for the Pantone libraries because it has a red, green, and a blue, CMYK, and all the light inks. It's a massive gamut on this printer. Beautiful, beautiful Pantone matching. So if you send a Pantone color, it will map it to the LAB that is specified by Pantone. But if you want to convert this Pantone to something else, no problem, you can do that. You can do a CMYK value, and we can say, let's give this 150, okay? And we'll save that. Now that Pantone is being rejigged and remapped to that, and it has been spooled to that color. If we wanna see where that is on the page, let's turn it off and save it. And in a few seconds, it'll go through and will probably disappear because we don't have that anymore. So spot color handling is really great. If you make changes regularly, you can load a spot color table as a permanent spot color. Uh, I could get into spot colors, verifications, and so much more detail. You, there is a uh, spot color editor available, and you can build your own spot colors. There you can see that disappeared in the background. We could build a new one or build it off of that one. And from here, you could go in and you could create your own spot colors that are used. Maybe it's like dye line is always used, or you have specific customers. You can use an I1 to measure a color. You could build a spot color from that measured color, right? So we want to put this, let's say, into here. We're not going to change that. We'll say OK. And here we have the full Pantone library, right? All the Pantones are available in there. We also have Pantones from all the other. There's so much I could get into this. Again, the characterization and definitions of this go on and on and on and on. Um, I could talk about spot colors and color matching for days. There is a verifier component allows you to print and measure and verify your workflow against a known value. Um, there is no jobs right now to measure, but if there was, you could double click that. It would list the, the Grackle, say for example, the Grackle specifications. You would measure and it would tell you a pass or a fail and send that back to the RIP. Again, there are certain components of this that I'm showing you are add-on modules, but there's very, <laughs> there's almost anything you want to do with this RIP is possible. So. That is a very quick overview of what you can do with this RIP. There is so much more that you can get into. Um, I'm going to do additional, more drilled down, if you will, um, detailed explanations of the other things. But I just wanted to tell you, if you're looking for a turnkey solution that is going to handle profiling, RGB, G clay, phototype printing on almost any media, the ability to do proofing to a Delta E that is going to surpass any pre-press shop or do as well as um, I get them down usually under a two Delta E maximum. My average is around 0.8. That's pretty phenomenal. Um, to most standards, swap three, swap five, grackle. Um, newsprint can be a little more challenging because it's so there's so much variability in that. Um, again, the ability, I, I, I recently set up, for example, a client 13 different art medias. Took a whole day, profiled all 13 of his medias. He has 13 workflows for each of the different medias that he has. He has breathing color canvases. He had Hannah Mill, he had Carson, Epson, but all running to a Canon 8400. He loves it. The ability to take a file, for example, you can just go in say, you know what? I'm going to pull this file and drag it in. 
that's it. It's already, it's asking if I want to save that, it's already spooling it into the RIP. You just drag and drop a file onto the RIP and it starts to process it and bring it in. It's so easy. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not hard to teach people how to use this RIP. I can teach them in 20 minutes how to be proficient. All the other stuff is sort of just learning about what's, oh, okay, we want to do alignment, we want to do scaling. It's all there. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure it out. So if you have any questions, if you're interested in this RIP anymore, feel free to give us a shout. Um, we are colormanagement.ca. That is who we are. That is who I am. That is our company. We are a Canadian reseller consulting company that will look after all of your needs if you will we look after all color management solutions but i just wanted to give you that heads up on this solution because as i say after years of doing this i haven't found anything better awesome thanks a lot bye